Hi everybody! Recently, I went to a very interesting interactive exhibition called Curiosity Hong Kong. Let me walk you through this exhibition and share my thoughts about this experience. As they say on their website, Curiosity Hong Kong is a fun and interactive exhibition where we encourage you to touch, play and even taste the installations around you. Each room is made for you to create new exciting memories, so keep an open mind as you explore the exhibition. So the goal of this exhibition is to encourage guests to be more present in their daily life and I think this is such a beautiful message. As I told you earlier, it was an interactive exhibition, so they had um, special people in each room that would tell you what was the idea behind the installation and what you could do there. The first room looked like a supermarket, but the products were quite unusual. Dream jobs, fears, communication, relationships. There were a couple of things that I would love to buy. What about you? Can I have one? Also in the first room, they introduced the exhibition and gave us some old-school Hong Kong candy. So I had a chance to uh, try this iconic milk candy called White Rabbit, which first appeared in 1940s. The next room was full of neon signs, which is the old Hong Kong known for. I love neon signs. I really want to have one in my room. Well, unfortunately, there are not so many places left in Hong Kong with the original gas filled neon signs, as the majority of new ones are LED. So maybe I should make a video and show you the places where you can still find the OG neon signs. In the next room, we found swings surrounded by beautiful flowers. I don't even remember the last time I actually used swings. So relaxing. This room was about communication to remind us the importance of having real conversations with people. How are you? Hello. Baby shark for me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with the last what? With the last person you called, what was it about? I called a chip chat. Can money buy you happiness? What's your favorite noodle favor? What is the biggest turning point in your life? Ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. And I feel like people don't really talk anymore. We are also focused on social media. And I'm guilty of that 100%. Sometimes I feel like I'm spending way too much time on my phone, checking all this social media. And I even switch off my phone sometimes during the weekend so I can focus on the present moment. The next room is probably one of my favorite. Shout out to all the homosexuals out there. 
I'm in love with these holographic walls and balloons. And here you could also try an edible helium balloon. Sounds scary. I've always wanted to try this helium balloon so you can change your voice. It was actually pretty difficult to inhale it, but the sound effect was so funny. And so the balloon was a candy that you could eat afterwards, but in reality it was almost impossible. Like my hands were too sticky and my face was too sticky. Let me tell you, it doesn't really look like a balloon afterwards. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> so the next room was a love laboratory, because you know love is chemistry and laboratory chemistry, you get it? Yeah, you get it? <laughs> As you can see, I'm such a fake scientist. Like, who on earth would smell chemicals like that? I would die immediately. The last room was filled with ping pong balls. I've never played on these playgrounds filled with the plastic balls, you know, as a kid. I was just so happy to finally experience that. <laughs> even take one ball with you. I can tell you it was such a fun experience and I think they should make more exhibitions like that. You just forget about everything when you are there, about your worries, about your stress, it's like it doesn't exist. And you feel like a kid, like before when life was so much easier. It was just a very cool way to spend the weekend, especially in a busy city like Hong Kong when people are stressed all the time. Don't ever lose your inner child and don't forget to enjoy simple things. I'll see you soon, bye!